Welcome back to the race. This is week 100, day two. Defense, we got a success against EST at Sabashi. Yeah. So this team doesn't have a bonus unit for starters. So does have an Aga with no seal, smite. You have Scanagus with Threatened Defense 1 and Soul Swap. Altina, Deflect Magic, uh, Reposition. Leaf, Death Blow, Wings of Mercy, Reposition. And Legendary Azura with Horn Attack 1, Attack Tactics. Why Horn Attack 1 and Attack Tactics? Wings of Mercy, Glimmer. Like, literally the only one that will get affected by the Hon Attack one is Naga. Because Altina can get her own balls. So. Alright, so they go do a little bit of shuffling right here. There goes their buildings. There goes their stats. And there goes their canagas. So. I do like, I like this new, um, where you can see the buffs up there. So we can see what kind of buffs that Kanagis had, and we just saw them get destroyed. Same thing, like, she's getting minus 3 to attack death rest, while I'm getting plus 6 to attack speed, and plus 3 to death and rest. And there goes their leaf. And that's it. In one turn, they lost all their non-mythics. All right, kind of feel bad. I mean, they really had no defense against my team. All right, so let's get started. We'll just do the little rundown. Uh, I gave her a special now. She has a glimmer. Nails with attack and death opening. I know double attack up, uh, attack tactics and double death, but you never know. Sometimes you need these things. Actually, this team has no rest for uh, Sothis. Mm. I still, I have to run Altina on every team because she's my only mythic that has merges. So, as long as my Altina is the only one that has merges, I have to run her. Like, I cannot afford to not run her because it will drop my score. And I think I just checked everybody like multiple times, but... Yeah. So yeah, like... Uh, that's why all you see is either I'll drop Naga or I'll drop Plumeria from teams like Nonaga. Actually, I think Plumeria is on every team, but Naga is not on every team because Altina is also on every team because it has to be Altina. I mean, as long as she's my only merge one, I have to use her. In. I'm thinking of merging my other one into her so she can be a plus two for a little bit more score. Same thing I'm planning to do with my heirs. All right, Will and Will has a Duma with no seal. What lane is this Duma on? Oh, cool. Corner Duma is perfect because it doesn't hurt my healing tower. So we have Beloria. Um, okay, very interesting. Plus one with Shove, Luna, Speed Death Link, and Speed Opening. We have Elliewood, which is probably the most dangerous thing over here. Uh, speed opening, Desperation, Swiss Sparrow. Uh, Legendary Azura. Nah. Of course, Nah gets bonus doubler and she does give infantry breath. Fear stands. Flora. Uh, just don't let her hit you. Hit her first. That's the way to kill Nora. 
and of course according to Dumas. So I don't actually have many range units this week. Hmm. Sotis would do good, except for like this flora. This flora is kind of scary because she does double against Dragonstone. Like right here it says it. Uh, Lance Axe Dragonstone. So she can. She does get a free double against Dragonstone. And because she raises her defense by 20, it just is the same thing as raising her rest by 2. Um, it kind of nullifies me attacking her weakest stat. Although, you know what? This is a Fjorm fight. What am I talking about? This is easily a Fjorm fight. So, yeah, we'll go with Fjorm. I mean, with. I, I can test these traps f for free, and I have a healing tower. So, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to go up this end either. I can if I want to. I can even take this out and the only one that's able to come out of there is Azura because she's the only flyer. Uh, with Doom over here, I will have to leave Fjorm right at the edge if I want to go with Fjorm. Just so she can get healed and then reposition her dancer and go up this way. It's only a 40. I have Fortress Advantage, so it's Fjorn. So I was thinking of going like back to bonus doubler on Fjorn, As you say. but I don't know, like these lulls are just really, really annoying. Lulls kind of have ki uh, sort of kill bonus doubler strats. I'll, I'll do it. Uh, we can go. How much is this? Oh yeah, Why let's not? go do that. And what is I guess your desire? It will be done. What fine music. Yes. We'll go like that. Alright, mostly everybody heals. Consider it done. So Yes. Close your eyes. Ah, you annoy me. It will be done. Oh, I'll do it. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So Why not? Still need to get a dancer over you there. You have my trust. Understood. We we'll just switch dancers. Orders, please. What is your and desire? You can go this way. So I mean, there really is no danger in this map. Ha! Plus three, plus a, plus three. Ha! Mostly because we got bonus stats, so that's why I said we have no. Lighter, we run ether because we're running. Uh, this is what we needed to have. We, I needed to make sure I had a unit with speed tactics. Yes. Although right now she's not getting speed. Oh, I'll do it. Close your eyes. Ah, this thing, man. Um. Do you think so? 38 to 30. Oh, yeah, you can take a hit. As you say. So we'll go here. Fine music. Dance you. Orders, please. And bye bye, Flora. As soon as you're not the one doing the attacking, you should be fine. 43, Why not? 47 res. You're not going to kill me. Oh, I'll do it. Yes. With utter certainty. I will get Altina out of the way, though. Close your eyes. So yeah, I mean, Eldigan is stupid strong when he has with bonus stats. So see, this would be like a bad, if I was running bonus doubler, I would have zero buffs at the moment. So, mainly the reason I'm not running bonus doubler. Can you one shot this Duma? You probably can, but it's probably better not to try. Yes. 
Understood. Do you think so? Um, I'll do it. What fine music. Yep. <laughs> I'll begin with the one that's doubling. Jesus. Consider it done. Bonus stats. What is your desire? And, um... What you want to call it out? Fortress advantage is just... Ah, uh, yeah, you don't have any way to move. Yes. Orders, please. We can even wait and what just give you... What is your desire? With utter certainty. Understood. Close your eyes. You have my trust. We can give you a dragon uh, advantage. I'll do it. And that's pretty much it. As you say. With utter certainty. It will be done. Why not? So that's pretty much it. We also run no follow-up, so it didn't matter for his bow fighter anyway. Or if we were hurt. So yeah, that was just a free match, I guess you could say. Not very exciting to watch. I mean... I wish I, I was getting this kind of matches on my alt account, which day one, like I lost two ladders because two full plus 10 teams, full infantry pulls, uh, ma a pre charge specials, and there was no way I could beat that with my alt account. So, um, since this was so fast, let's talk about refines because, man, am I so disappointed by, ref by the refines. Yeah, let's just do this. It's faster. Put you here. Uh, where are you? You. Uh, the other one is... Who are the other two? I know it's Rajad and... Where are you, Rajad? I have a Rajat. And who was the other one? Um, There's one more. Um, I mean, there was Silas, but I'm... Oh, yeah, Effie. Effie, where are you, Effie? So, let's look at the refines. So, first... Sigurd, so disappointed with Sigurd, he could have been so much better, they completely went in a direction that I was not expecting, like, they didn't, this weapon, this refine, does not interact with Crusader's ward at all, like, they completely ignore his, what makes him unique, which is Crusader's ward, and just gave him attack defense, uh, they added attack defense to his base uh, weapon. They didn't do anything about uh, bows and um, daggers. And then just gave him another attack defense as his uh, refine and a follow-up. Now, on his own, this is a good refine. Like, there is no question about it. He gets plus 10, plus 10 uh Plus 10 attack, plus 10 defense, and a guaranteed follow-up attack. You can work with a Sigur and make him a speed Sigur, and he hits decent level of speed. So, on that aspect, is a good refine. And it just makes him like every other Cavalier now. He's just a Gale Force Cavalier, if that's what you want. Or, um, at least he's a dueler. He can, like, battle other... Uh, just like a frontline unit. It's because at 10 attack and 10 defense is, is a lot. Like right now, if I had this on my Sigur, it would be 52 attacks, uh, 45 defense on player phase, and then he gets the plus six from close combat to defense. So yeah, and of course he'll still do that minus 50 magic and minus 80 magic but it just means he still cannot run this encounter unless you go with a speed build. If you go with a speed build, then you can run this encounter. But you'll need to have like uh, attack speed solo, 
Lola tax speed keep his uh, speed ploy no actually you can't even run attack speed uh, solo you have to run uh, this encounter he says lad you have to run speed lol lol attack speed on his B lad and you have to run uh, speed res solo on his seal slot and you have to keep his speed smoke just to get make him speed and you need a high merges too because a low merges is not gonna work as well and you need to pay uh, make sure that you're using uh plumeria or uh peony depending on what season you want to use him but <sighs> i don't know it's just they went in a completely opposite direction of what I was expecting. So that's Sigur. Now Arbus, Arbus get a really good refine. Like, first of all, his regular weapon is just attack and rest minus four in uh, direct cardinal directions. So directly in front of him, behind him, to his left and to his right. Now he has that, but triple like three columns so the column to his left the column to his right and his column all the way up and the uh rows in front of him behind him and the one he's on so that is a huge range also it no longer checks rest which means it just is always on like always a minus five so think of him like a uh bright shine dark shine that is movable it's just a walking dark bright shine that always affects whatever uh, is in the designated three columns, three rows. And then his refine is Blizzard, uh, Broadleaf Fan, um, uh, what is it? Spice Dagger, Blue Tom Crow, you know, the, all those what everybody just calls broadly fine effect, but it's actually blizzard effect because blizzard was out first. And yeah, it's very interesting. Unlike um, Ursula, who has no way to debuff her enemies, both Arbis and Sayas, which they get the same exact weapon, both of them do attack and rest, both do the, the three columns, three rows, and both of them do the... Uh, broadly fan effect blizzard effect uh but unlike her they can actually provide the debuffs themselves so way more consistent now they're not the bulkiest units arbis and sias i mean 20 defense and this is with a fury of course this is a plus one so at Four defense, art four to all stats. If you go with a plus ten, at seven to all stats. If you go with a plus ten, plus fifteen, and you still only get twenty-seven defense. So they're not the bulkiest units, but you are going for the one shots. I mean, if you compare them to like Matthew, Arbis has way more attack than Matthew, so he'll do more uh, damage if you go with the uh, vantage set. It's just that first hit. He has to survive the first hit. Um, yeah. Then Rajat. With Rajat got a really interesting, uh, both interesting tome and interesting weapon. So, first her weapon. Her new weapon, Obsessive Curse, is effective against Cavalry, just like what she came in with, uh, which was, of course, King Brown Wolf. So, effective against Cavalry, in fix. Inflicts speed and rest minus fast and forward into spaces during combat. Similar to Kyria, similar to Tarja. Um, so they got those minus two debuffs. However, then she gets the after unit, uh, after combat unit attack deals seven damage to target, which is you know um, freaking savage blow. And on top of that, it inflicts. Uh, the candlelight effect, flash effect. Uh, so it's similar to uh, Benning Edge from um, 
What's his face? Uh, pent? Not pent. Uh, well, similar to Ben in Edge. So she can run like uh, uh, Savage Blow in her weapon, in her seal, and in her uh, uh, C slot. So she's basically, like a panic killer. She's literally a panic killer. I'm not a panic killer, a pain healer. Except deals a little less damage because pain healers do 10, she does 7. Uh, and she doesn't have a way to initiate safely unless you go with a speed build and go with wind sweep, water sweep, depending on the situation. Wind sweep is uh, always better just because most of the time floor frontliners are infantry. So. But all in all, it, it gives her a good niche. And because it's like um, Candlelight, Flash, and Bending Edge, it doesn't matter if she dies. Even if she dies, she'll still inflict the uh, Kena counterattack effect. So she could be like a suicide lead if you wanted something like that. Uh, on a defense team, of course. And then we have uh effie which i don't actually i didn't have enough uh to get her weapon apparently so her base lance is at start of combat if you finish hp is 50 percent grants uh attack plus six during combat which means it's death blow she's above 50 percent and then her refine which we cannot see because i don't have that weapon at the moment is she gets um Minus five attack and defense on the foe, but only on the first encounter. Only during the first encounter of of the round. So very similar to uh, who are those weapons that we got? Uh, we got those uh, not that long ago. Those weapons that only works once in combat. Actually, your weapon is not like that, right? Uh, where are you? Should be around here. Dancer that I'm using right now in Ether Raids. I know he does the 50% 50, 50 but I don't think his is in first combat. I think it's just the first hit. But for some reason I can... Oh yeah, he doesn't have refine. No way, he does have refine. If I remember his name, I would just search it, but I'm terrible with names. By now, you guys should know that. I forget names. Should literally be looking at him right here, but... I'm blind. At the start of combat. So yeah, his is at the start of combat. Yeah, so yeah, like this. If uh, if Fo can make a follow-up, reduces damage from Fo's first attack by 50%. So this is from Fo's first attack, but we had those weapons not that long ago. It's like they only work uh, during the first combat, and I cannot remember for the life of me which uh, units got those weapons. Wasn't that this Lawrence thing that got it? I don't think I have any of the actual units that got it. Um, unless there was a Tempest Trial unit or... But I don't think that banner came with a Tempest Trial. During, okay, so it is. During units first combat, in player face of enemy face. So it's very similar to this weapon, the Conch Bouquet. Except his is attack and rest. Hers is attack and defense. So it's not... A bad weapon per se is just that the whole first turn means she's not usable in Ether Race as a tank because as a tank you're always expected to tank multiple units at the same uh, consecutive. You're gonna get hit by at least one or two units most of the time. 
not always, but most of the time you're gonna be enrolled in multiple fights. Which means it's not really good for tanking. Like on Arena, where you can just hit and run, if you're fighting lots of farmers anyway, then yeah, I guess it could work, but then again, uh, Effie's pretty low scoring now, like she gets outscored by any infantry unit, so you're not gonna score high enough to see armors only. But yeah, all in all, like the uh, I would say Arby's probably got the best refine, well, Arby's Sias, or be, just because of the debuff being upgraded to a huge range, like you can use him in either range just as a debuff bot. Uh, for you can run him and another hardy bearing and another uh broadly fan unit so double bandage broadly fan so you can attack from like double two directions and if you bring like arbins and sias you can literally cover the entire map so like double mythic arbis sias are your carries and your bonus unit you can debuff everything um, and then uh, Sigurd, his, his refine is good, it's just terrible for him, like, it's actually better for Selef, like, that's the problem, his refine is better for Selef because Selef is low as shit, Sigurd can actually work on his speed, so he actually has something that he can do. Uh, to kind of mitigate Crusader's uh, ward, the fact that his refine doesn't do anything with Crusader's ward. But because Selef is so slow, then that guaranteed follow-up attack does help him a lot, a lot. So, it's just another Brave Roy situation where the unit that gets the refine is not the best user of it, or it's not going to be the most consistent user of it. It's not like uh, Julia and Deirdre because they both function similarly but differently enough and they're both 5 star exclusives so on that case is different for them like for example <clears throat> Deirdre has a lot more rest so Divine Naga is a little better while Julia has a little more uh, attack and you can work on her speed as well on Julia. So Naga with the dragon counter is good on her and she can run Naga with close foil to have uh, just a stronger uh, close counter. So on them, it's, it didn't uh, disrupt them so much. Like they both can be used interchangeably. Or like another unit that got a refine like that was um, Base Hector with our mods and uh, Festival Hector, uh, Love Bounce Hector, which got um, Berserk our mods. They both can run it. Um, just LA Hector is better than it with Berserk our mods, just because of his better stat spread as opposed to regular Hector. Even though uh, with the refine with a uh, resplendent Hector, um, he kind of closes the gap um, somewhat, and you know. So for those units, the giving the weapon to another one, it didn't bother as much. But Roy and Salif with this refines that they got is just terrible. Uh, but yeah. I mean, if you build a Celef, you're probably happy with it because you can use it on Celef, and that's the problem. That's the problem I see. Like, why give the refine to uh, Sigur if you're just gonna have it be used on Celef? But yeah, uh, rant is over. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.